and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over what to expect from the Harvest promo now. As you guys can see, I was drinking my water. Because apparently, you guys get very frustrated if I don't drink water before videos. So, always going to have it on deck. Now, I got the pole and spring ready. Don't worry, guys. Now, guys, for what to expect from the Harvest promo, I mean, for me personally, sorry, I put the water down. Personally, they have a, a, a trend, right? And the trend has been promos come out about Fridays. And typically, unless they're delayed like they were last time, it should have been on the Friday. And they said mid-November. So if you look at the date right now, my, my assumption is that we will get at least a special stream by next week around the 12th, 13th. By minimum, we'll get a stream around then. And the promo most likely will come out around the 14th or 15th, depending on if it's a Thursday or Friday. But if it's on a Friday, it should be, I believe, the 15th of November. So you can expect this promo coming really, really soon. So if you guys are excited, I mean, honestly, if, it's so weird, right? Because it feels like the most good promo just ended. And I feel like we're ready in the Thanksgiving promo. Things are going to start flying, going real downhill real quick. And not downhill in a bad way. I mean, like, the ball just gets rolling downhill and it's not going to stop. So before you know it, it's a Christmas promo and the years progress. Before you know it, Madden's dead, right? But super hyped for the Thanksgiving promo, guys. I have a lot of things to go over, a lot of things to expect. And if I don't know the exact names of things, I'm sorry. But I know exactly what what they do. I just might not know the exact name from last year. But again, I wasn't a YouTuber at this point last year. So I just played the game. So obviously, from this year on out, I'm going to have a real good memory considering I do this every day for uh, as like almost a job so you guys you guys get the point real quick guys make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell make sure you give this video a big thumbs up boys thank you to all you always with thumbs up boys but let's keep this intro short shorter than usual let's get into the video so getting over to sets the first thing you can expect from the harvest promo is going to be its own individual set every special themed like seasonal promo has a big set now this set has collectible pieces to use for players materials masters the thanksgiving promo is going to have a similar layout so it's going to have its master set now last year i believe it was lawrence taylor and walter payton as the two master cards and those cards required about three i believe it was like three to four cards in their set to complete them now if i remember correctly it was like there was alvin Kamara, patrick mahomes jason peters and there was even more but i just can't remember them all right now and you use those cards to craft their final master and you got them back in that so for me personally, last year, I would always do the master set and I would keep the nap plays. But we'll, I'll go into all that advice when the things actually come out. But personally, I love the master sets. Let's say it's Lawrence Taylor and it takes four cards. You put all four cards in, you sell back Lawrence Taylor and you keep the naps. In my in my pace, I would actually keep Lawrence Taylor because I wanted my team. And then I would just keep the nap pieces and I quick sell what I don't need. But master sets are always cool. But last year, there was an offensive and defensive. This year, they've kind of strayed away from that formula. Except they just started doing it again with Ray Lewis and Peyton Manning. Because at first, I was like, maybe they won't do this again because they weren't doing it for other promos. But now they're doing it again. So hopefully with the Thanksgiving promo, I mean, I doubt it'll be Warren, Lawrence Taylor, and Walter Payton again. Although, that's I'd love to have those two guys again. Maybe we get like a Barry Sanders. And I don't know who's a, I don't know who's a defensive Thanksgiving guy. But we could get like an Ezekiel Elliott. We could get... I mean, personally, it's usually a legend, right? I think... Walter Payton and Lawrence Taylor are definitely in the mix, although I don't know if they'll do them again. But Lawrence Taylor, yeah, I think he'll get a card around Thanksgiving or Barry Sanders. One of the two always get a card, so expecting them. Maybe they'll be cool and bring it back to like the, the original Cornucopia days. We got like RG3 and those type cards. RG3 would be awesome out of one of these packs. I'd pick him up in a heartbeat. But what else are we going to expect in these sets, right? So there's going to be materials, and these materials are going to be called turkey collectibles. There's always these. I mean, I'm almost 90% sure we'll have them. It's always like turkey stuffing. Um turkey jam let's say bread those the cornucopia looking things there's always collect i guess sorry guys i don't know my thanksgiving food that well there's always some kind of thanksgiving food collectibles and it, so you and usually the big thing you use these collectibles on there's like three things there's low level exchange packs for them then there's a cornucopia pack which is the banger pack that i'll go into in a little bit and then there's going to be the turkey day performers now i don't know their exact name but you guys know what i'm talking about the turkey day performers are pretty much card would stack they were like card collectibles they were card that were also collectibles now these cards could be used and they had specific objectives on them and if these objectives were completed they would increase in overall on thanksgiving and then permanently so one specific example was kenny galladay kenny galladay had a 90 overall turkey day performer collectible card so the way this was you could use it as a 90 overall and on thanksgiving if he had above 45 receiving yards 
he'd become a 91 overall. If he had like 90 yards and a touchdown, he'd become a 92 overall, something like that. So he actually in real life did do both those things, I believe. And he became a permanent 92 overall. Now another guy was like, I believe Xavier Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes card said like, if he, uh, what was it? If he swat, if he like defends a pass or, or deflects a pass, he goes up to a 91, which is simple. I mean, that a lot of cornerbacks can do that. And then if he gets an interception, he becomes a 92. So I remember guys like Xavier Rhodes, and this was a good way to make coins because if you invest, it was almost like it was almost like gambling, right? It's like an investment, uh, like an investment, right? So pretty much, you would buy cards that you think could do good against in their matchups. And like Kenny Galladay, I think was, or I don't know, one of those are from the Redskins. But Xavier Rhodes did get the pick and the pass deflection, which I think if you get a pick, does that count as a pass deflection at the same time? I don't really know, but the point is, is that they both got it. So Xavier Rhodes went from like 120k to like 280k, 300k. So like these guys are good investments, which is really cool. It adds some kind of like fantasy feel to, to the game, you know, where you can invest and have some fun and go watch the games on Turkey Day and almost have that fantasy football quality, like type vibe. So I really like those cards. There was quite a few. I don't remember the others. There was, there was Jason Pierre Paul at one point was one of them. I don't know if that was last year or two years ago. Kenny Galladay was one. Xavier Rhodes. I'm hoping we get one of those guys. That'd be really cool. Not those guys specifically, but one of those types of programs within it. And then like the Cornucopia Pack is going to be one of the big things we can expect. Now the Cornucopia Pack, last year specifically, I believe it was 45 collectibles for the first one, and then everyone after that was 60 collectibles. So there was a non-repeatable 45 collectible set. So pretty much you had to get 45 collectibles. Now the collectibles, they're not the easiest things to get. Now with the way Madden is trending towards a benefit from no money spent players in certain ways, I imagine they'll give us a decent amount of collectibles. Like last year, they gave us enough collectibles for one free. Which is awesome because you know why? Because back in Madden 13 and back in the day of Madden, you didn't even sniff a cornucopia pack if you weren't shelling out hundreds of dollars. I'm telling you, back then used to be like I used to watch on YouTube like the Cullenbergers and all them be like, wow, I wish I could grow up to be like them one day. Like I want to open up a cornucopia pack. And then finally, I opened up a cornucopia pack last year for the first time ever, and they were ass. Now the reason was was because I guess since EA allowed so many people to get them easily with collectibles from solo challenges, they had to they had to downgrade them. Back in the day, guys, cornucopia packs were like. If you could put the a divine being into a pack, it was a cornucopia pack. Like that pack was just a, every 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 card was a banger. So it'd be like you get one Thanksgiving legend. So like you get RG3 at Thanksgiving, Barry Sanders. So one card would be a Thanksgiving legend. One would be like a full legend. One would be a full legend. One would be like a, a top flashback card. One would be a veteran card. Like you'd get something of everything, and they, they wouldn't just be bad cards. It'd be like a, top, a 90 overall legend, um, a 90 overall mud hero, a Thanksgiving legend. I'm telling you guys, these packs were crazy. But last year, it wasn't guaranteed overalls. Last year, it was just guaranteed programs. So last year's Cornucopia pack was pretty much, you get one flashback, one veteran, one, let's say one team of the week, one legend. And that sounded cool, right? Let's you open the pack and the team, it was team of the week first, let's say, 79 overall team of the week. Then it was the legend, 81 Brian Dawkins. Then it was the veteran card, 82 Ryan Fitzpatrick. Then it was, let's say the Thanksgiving card, and it was an 84 Thanksgiving set piece. I'm telling you guys, the packs were ass last year. People were getting so mad over it, but I had to use my collectibles, right? So this year, obviously when the time comes, I will give you guys my best advice, because last year you had to do an option. You had either the Cornucopia pack, or you could have used your collectibles to get the Turkey Day performers, like the Kenny Galladay's and the Xavier Rhodes and those type guys. So obviously, there's an investment. Would you rather? I think it was you can get two Turkey Day performers, or like one cornucopia pack. It was, I, I forget how the collectibles work, but I think Turkey Day performers were like 25 to 30 each, so you could almost afford two. So now, pretty much the first cornucopia pack last year was non-repeatable, so you could only get one for the cheap price of 45 collectibles, and after that, everything was 60. And Madden gave you just about 45 collectibles. From solo challenges, there's a lot of them. There's gonna be like Turkey Day, the day of, the backyard games, there's always still a bunch of collectibles. So if they give us, they give us the, the same similar format. We should have enough for either some Turkey Day performers or Conocopia packs. All your no money spent, guys. Don't get upset. You guys will have at least an opportunity to enjoy one of the many features of Thanksgiving. But in my opinion, I don't know what the best one is yet. It all depends on the Conocopia pack contents, the guarantees, and the performers and the match they give us. When the time comes, obviously, I'll go over all that with you guys. But for now, guys, be very excited. The Harvest promo should be coming like within a, I believe, a week from today, we should probably have an idea of something, and then the day or two after that should be when it actually comes out. And in my opinion, guys, there are gonna be tons of packs, there's gonna be tons of souls, and now we have the introduction of house rules, which we did not have that we did not have that benefit of last year. Like, I don't want to call it a benefit because we had a few rough ones in Halloween with 100 wins. But for the most part, as you guys do know, the house rules should help us tremendously with free players. So I'd imagine this is the format I'm imagining for the sets, right? They'll be the master sets, and they're gonna have their set pieces. Like, let's say they have a set, maybe the master will be offensive Patrick Mahomes. That'd be pretty cool but 
let's say they just give us a regular like 93 thanksgiving patrick mahomes maybe the house will guarantee us one free fantasy uh thanksgiving player so you can go you can take patrick mahomes right so then you can get one free you can probably build one of the masters for cheap you know there's gonna be a lot of opportunity maybe the, i think the solo challenges will get you enough will get you a lot of collectibles to get one performer or like one cornucopia pack and then the house rules might give you a free player so i'm expecting bare minimum you being getting enough collectibles to do something with it and an app player to use on your team that's bare minimum what i'm expecting now guys as far as the rating for thanksgiving promos this is usually a 9 out of 10 promo it's usually one of the best promos all year and as we trend away from straight up collectibles or packs we've had to be we've been able to enjoy it a lot more guys for this promo to be a 9 out of 10 to be a 9 out of 10 pro all we need all we need i'm telling you guys all we need for this to be a 9 out of 10 promo we need a master set with a good master on my glass time with Peyton manning all we need is a lawrence taylor or a barry sanders you give us one of those two cards promo's awesome right that's at least seven out of ten you give us one of those two you include turkey day performers eight out of ten you give us one nap player from house rules and you give us some good solo challenges with some good collectibles and something fun to enjoy with some cool graphics guys yay as long as you give us usable cards and you don't make lawrence and barry sanders limited time I promise you, everyone's going to fall in love with this promo. This is going to be one of the best promos of the year so far. And you can top with the Christmas. Guys, Thanksgiving is such an easy promo to make good EA. It's such an easy promo because everyone's ready. Everyone's excited for it. Everyone expects so much of it. Everyone's just excited to play it. So trust me, you, the only way you can mess this up is by taking away what you've always done. Like, you know, if, if, it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, that's what EA's been trying to, like, with October, trying to change it up a little bit. Just keep it steady. We like, we like what we like. Just add some different cards, change it up a little bit, but don't change the, the core of it. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. You guys been smashing the like buttons. Make sure to get this video to 200 likes, boys. Hopefully you guys get this around midday today. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.